Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 10, which is Carbosyl Acid. There are five subtopics altogether in the chapter, which is 10.1 Introduction, 10.2 Nomenclature, 10.3 Physical Properties, 10.4 Preparation, and 10.5 Chemical Properties. So in this video, we're going to focus on the two subtopics first, which is 10.1 and 10.2. So in this video, we're going to learn on how to write the general formula of Carbosyl Acid, we're also going to learn on how to draw the structures and as well as write the IUPAC name for the carboxyl compound, which has less than 10 carbon. Also, we're going to look into the common names of the carboxylic acid with parent chain less than 5 carbon. Okay, so without any further ado, let us start. So, for carboxylic acid, it's basically a compound with the carboxyl group, which the carboxyl group comes from the name of the carbonyl on this side and also hydroxyl on the other side. So the combination of carbo and the hydroxyl, the blue color here will produce a carboxyl group. And they will have a general formula of RC1OOH, and it can also be written as RCOOH. Okay, so this side here can be written as COOH, where R can be written as hydrogen, alkyl group, or aryl group. Okay, for example, if we have H here, uh, the total number of carbon in this structure is going to be 1 and hence it's going to be a methanoic acid. Okay, so carboxyl group and 1 carbon methanoic acid. And then it has 1, 2, 3 carbon, so it's going to be propane, but because it has a carboxyl group, so it's going to be a propanoic acid. Okay, and for this one, it's going to have a benzene ring attached with a carboxyl group, so it's going to be a benzoic acid. Right, and here is the list of common names that are uh, popular, and we only need to know for the carbon that is less than five carbon chain. Okay, so the common name common name for methanoic acid is formic acid, so this is quite popular, as well as the common name for the ethanoic acid, which consists of two carbon, gonna be acetic acid. Okay, and for three and four, the name is quite uh, similar to the IUPIC, for example, propanoic, the common name is going to be propi propionoic acid. And for butanoic acid, it's going to be butyric acid. Meanwhile, for penta, it's going to be valeric acid. So the P here refers to the letter of V in Roman. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. The 5 here refers to uh, number 5, which is the V here refer to number 5. So, pentanoic acid, valeric acid for the acquired name. Okay? And now, for the nomenclature, we need to uh, find the longest carbon chain. So, similar to, one that, similar to the one that we have learned for the other previous chapters. And uh, it must include the carboxyl group. So, the carboxyl group always at the end of the chain. And therefore, the carbon of the carboxyl group is always numbered as number 1. And when there are two carboxyl groups present, the carboxyl group is going to be at both ends of the chain. So the name of the carbon will be named as alkene, where we're going to drop the letter E here and change it with oic acid in order to do the naming. Okay. So for example, ethene, which has a two carbon, CH3 and CH3, but now when it becomes an acid which has a carboxyl group, it's going to become CH3COOH. So from ethane, it's going to become 1 and 2 here, ethanoic acid. Alright? Now we're going to do a few examples in order to understand the nomenclature a little bit better. So let's say if we have this structure here. So this structure here will have a carboxyl group and then we're going to do the naming starting from number one from the, uh, do the numbering starting from number one of the carboxyl group here. So one, two, three, four, and five. So it will have a pentanoic acid and then at the carbon number three, you're going to attach with the substituent of methyl and at carbon number four, you're going to be attached with the substituents of the bromine, so bromo. So for the parent chain, we're going to have pentanoic acid because it has 5 carbon. And then at carbon number 3, we're going to be attached with methyl. 
and then at carbon number four, you're going to be attached with promo. Okay, so three methyl and four promo. Still follow the alphabetical order. So the total name is going to be four promo, three methyl, pentanoic acid. Okay, and if you look at the structure below here, it still have the carboxyl group. And we're going to do the numbering, number one, two, three, four, five. And then we need to go up because it needs to have the longest carbon chain. So six here. So six here going to be an hexanoic acid. And then at carbon number five, it's going to be attached with the hydroxy group. So it's going to be five hydroxy hexanoic acid. Okay. Now, when two COOH, COOH group are present, the carboxyl group are present, the compound will be named as alkane diuic acid. Okay, so let's say if you have one carboxyl here at one end and another carboxyl group at the other end. So this is known as the pentan diuic acid because it has one, two, three, four, and five. So pentan diuic acid. Okay, so similar goes to down here. So you will have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have two carboxyl group. One and two here. So uh, it have six carbon, so you're gonna be hexane diuic acid. Okay. And then at carbon number three, you're gonna be attached with methyl. So you're gonna be three methyl. Hexandiuic acid. Right? So now we're going to look into the alkyl group. So if R is an aryl group, sorry, aryl group, the parent name is going to be benzoic acid. So when an aromatic ring is attached with a carboxyl lick group, it's going to be named as benzoic acid. And the carbon that is attached with the COOH going to be named, going to be numbered as one. So number one and number two here. So it's going to be two bromo benzoic acid. Okay. And for this one, the similar process as before, the, carbo the carbon that attached with the carboxylate group, the carboxylate acid group, going to be attached at number one. And then it has two substituent here. So we need to give the lowest set of numbering. So instead of go 1 and 2, we can go 1, 2 so that the substituent will have the lowest number. Okay, so it's going to be number 1 here, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so we're going to follow the clockwise direction. So we're going to have the benzoic acid at, at, number, at number 2 and number 5, you're going to have 2 chlorine. So you're going to be dichloro benzoic acid. 2,5-dichlorobenzoic acid. Alright. So now, um, we're going to look into the cyclic carboxylic acids where the cyclic, carbo a cyclic carboxylic acid is named as the cycloalkane carboxylic acid. Okay. And the carbon that attached to the COOH is numbered as carbon number 1 here. Okay. And if a compound contains a carboxyl group and other functional group, the priority is given to the carboxylic acid as the parent name. Okay, so now let us look into this structure here one by one. So let's say if we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, we know that it is a cyclopentane and we're going to name it as cyclopentane carboxylic acid. So the similar one that the one in blue here. So it's going to be cyclopentane carboxylic acid. For this one, uh, we have a cyclopentane click carboxylic acid, so it's going to be 1, 2, okay, we don't write 2 here because this one has other functional groups, so the priority is given on the right hand side, not on this one, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, so it's going to be a cyclohexane carboxylic acid, but now because it has it, because it has a double bond here, so it's going to be 2-cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Okay, so it's going to be a 2-cyclohexane carboxylic acid, 1, 2, 3. And then 
at carbon number 3, it's going to be attached with a methyl group. Okay, so it's going to be 3 methyl, 2 cyclohexene, carboxylic acid. Alright, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!